Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from a very beautiful Menasha, Wisconsin. Good evening everybody. I hope you have had a wonderful Friday. My Friday has been good. I got to spend the afternoon with my daughter. She's right over there scrapbooking. And um, I've been working on the Magnolia Lane Memories and More card pack and making some cards. So I'm super excited to show you guys what I made today. Let me get you pulled up on my screen. Hang on just a second while I do that. Hi, Mindy, Terry, Kathy, Robin. It's good to see you guys coming in. Julie's popping in. Jane is here. Hi, Jane. Jody Peterson, welcome. Rhonda, lots of people popping in. I see Jay is here also. Okay, my, my, my computer's running a little slow, like it's not um, doing its thing here. Here we go. I haven't had any more computer problems. I did shut down my computer and restart it. I think there was also some type of an upgrade to something I did with it. And it's been okay, except that every once in a while I'll be typing along and my screen just goes black, like it's shut off. And then I just touch a button and it comes back on. So that's a little scary, right? <laughs> probably an indication there might be something wrong yeah so um let me okay I've got you guys up on the screen so when we flip around I'll be able to see your comments I've got a whole bunch of mail and I'm not gonna read all the wonderful notes but just know that if you sent me a note I read it because I love reading all of the inspiration that you guys send is just super sweet I got this card from, hang on a second, this is from Joe, 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 Joe Williams, and Joe is always watching me, I always appreciate that, look at how pretty this is, she used that Parisian stamp set that has like the, what is that, the Eiffel Tower in it, is it the Eiffel Tower, Haley, what was that thing we went up in when we were in, Leaning Tower of Pisa, Oh, it's the Eiffel Tower, not the Leaning Tower of Pisa. I get those confused. I am geographically challenged. <laughs> yeah, so what a very pretty card that is. She also used um, the Ornate Garden. So gorgeous, Joe. Thank you so much. Then I got a card from... Hang on while I can get it open. Nancy Levis... I always never know how to say your name. Levisique. I think that's right. Look at how pretty that is. She took advantage of that poppy paper. I love that print on that poppy paper. It is so, so pretty. Yeah, and Terry says she's having trouble with Facebook. Facebook has been pretty glitchy the last few days. Like their streaming seems to be low or something. Are you guys finding that? Oh, <laughs> Diana wants to know how Steve took the news. So if you missed me last night, I accidentally broke the screen on his iPad. I set it in the kitchen where he always keeps it and then I went up in this cupboard to grab the Pam for the brownies I was making to spray the pan and the Pam can fell out of the cupboard and hit his iPad and it <sighs> yeah so um it still works and he was he was fine what did he say Haley did he even care you told him right before I got over oh I told him I told I told him before Haley got here but yeah he was fine and if you guys saw our pictures of our barbecued ribs and cheesy hash browns and then Steve made carrots I made brownies we had them warm with ice cream and chocolate syrup on top oh my gosh I ate the same thing again for lunch today right down to the ice cream with the brownies and the chocolate syrup it was delicious so that was really nice and then we played um Bunko and Family Feud and our Family Feud game is from like a million years ago so some of the answers are pretty funny because you have to think about what people would have said back in the what was it 90s 80s 80s back in the 80s what their answer would be to this stuff so that was kind of funny and um here is a card from Esther Bethke look at how cute that is and it says, hmm, sometimes I sits and thinks and sometimes I just sits. <laughs> it's a little outhouse. Super cute. Thank you, Esther. Mary Lynn sent me a card in a vellum envelope, which is kind of neat because you can see the card through it. And she says it gives the post office something to look at. Look how cute that is, that little bunny. 
little pom-pom bunny butt. Very cute. Thank you, Mary Lynn. And then we have this gorgeous card from Tracy Jacobs. Yeah, that's using my kit class, that best dress or dress to impress. Yeah, super cute. Now, that kit um, class, I'm going to be closing that down today. So if you wanted to get in on that and order the kit, you need to head over to my blog, www.astampabove.com. Click on the online um, class button in the right-hand column and get your kit ordered. I'll be pulling reports probably tomorrow, I'm thinking. But yeah, that's a really fun class. I see my screen isn't um, scrolling, so just hang with me here for a minute. Jenny's asking, have I lost any more weight? No, I haven't, but I'm not gaining anything either. So, because <laughs> I can't go out to lunch. That's why. But every once in a while, I do get carry out from someplace. And I just say that, you know, I'm trying to keep our economy going here in Menasha, Wisconsin. I'm doing my part. But really, I just love restaurant food. Let's be real. No, I'm glad to help local businesses too. But mainly, I love restaurant food. <laughs> Then, D Blythe, I got this beautiful Easter card from her. How pretty is this? It's using that Ornate Garden Designer Series paper. Ooh, gorgeous. And uh, look at the inside. How pretty is that? She really did a nice job on this. Thank you so much, Dee. I love your card. Then I received a card from Karen Nevin, and look at that little bunny. Again, we've got that pom-pom bunny butt going on there. Some fun spring bicycles in the background. This was really, really sweet. Thank you so much, Karen. And Mary Cox, another ornate garden card. How pretty is that? I like the way she kind of um, staggered those layers. Super, super pretty. Then I've got a card from... Cynthia Motley. Look at how pretty that is at that poppy. This was the whole poppy suite. I have an online class with that too. And I still have pre-cut cardstock packets for the pre um, painted poppies online class. So if anybody's interested in that, you can still get the whole enchilada. Then Arliss Canoop. And I loved what she did with this basket. She used that, I can't remember what that embossing folder is called, but it's in the catalog on that oval to make the basket for her tulips. And I thought that was so cool, right? Yeah, I was like, oh, that's a good idea. Then we have Claudia Pidone. And look at how pretty her Easter card is. I love this. It's, it's very um, crisp and subtle at the same time. I just think that's so pretty. And then we've got one from my friend Sue Molden. To stamp or not to stamp? She says on the inside, is that even a question right now? And no, it's not. <laughs> Remember Wanda? Wanda, a little blast from the past there. Then I got this gorgeous card from Edward, or I'm sorry, hang on, I gotta open this up. It's not Edward. Edward is the mister. Mindy Karcher. Look at how pretty that is. And again, this is the um, ornate garden stamp and the embossing folder, the ornate floral embossing folder. How pretty is that? Her coloring is amazing. Thank you so much, Mindy. This is just beautiful. And then, oh, I've got a few more here. Hang tight. I have Rose Bell. I just got this in the mail today. Thank you so much. This is adorable little Easter card. Thanks, Rose. I so appreciate it. And then Rita Child sent me this. And I believe this is one of our old, um, I shouldn't say old, but it's one of our past paper pumpkin kits, I believe. Look how pretty that is. That crosses of hope cut out of the front. Yeah, gorgeous. This is a paper pumpkin. I'm looking at the flowers going, yep, that's a paper pumpkin kit. I remember using this one. It was one of my favorites. And then we've got... Priscilla Setiwan. Did I totally wreck your name? Setiwan. Pretty close from Granada Hills, California. How about that? And let's take a look at this fancy little card. Ready? This is beautiful. Look at it. It opens up into a little box there so that you get that 3D effect. It's flat, 
but then when you open it, it pops up. And isn't that so cool? I love these. This is like a box card because when you do this, it kind of makes the little box. I'm totally, that's not what it's called, but I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you so much. Last but not least, I sent those dinosaur shaker cards to my sister's kids, all three of them. And I got some fun pictures back. This is from my niece, Jazzy. Look how cute that is. And it says, Dear Aunt Kelly, thank you for the card. And then some really good artwork. I got another one here. Let's bring Tommy's up next. Here we go. It says, Dear Aunt Kelly, thank you for the card, Tom. And then he said, Cat, just in case I had any questions about what that was. It is a cat. <laughs> and last but not least is my niece, Emma. She is, I think she's 17 now. And thank you for the funny card. Um, it really lifted my spirits in these hard times. Thank you for all your love and help. Also, I hope you are staying safe and coming up with lots of crafty ideas. I love Emma. And isn't that pretty? Yeah, so whether you're stamping or drawing your own cards, they all make people happy. I was just so excited to get this package in the mail. And oh, look at, look at all the artwork on here. Yeah, spring has sprung. <laughs> I thought that was really cute. Okay, you guys. We have, let me find some place to set these. That's quite a stack of mail, isn't it? Now that's over a few days. I didn't get that all today. But I felt like I needed to get it um, to thank people for it because they're going to be wondering if they sent me an Easter card, did that it get there? Oh my gosh, I can't even talk, right? What's happening over there? Just saying, um, do that. Oh, yeah. Haley's over there going... She went to the doctor yesterday and today. what? Today. Today. Oh yeah, that was today. I, I keep thinking today is Saturday, but it's only Friday. She went to the doctor yesterday and today. <laughs> today. Oh my gosh. There was no progress on her looking like she's getting closer to having the baby. So that was a little disappointing. And then the doctor did set a date to induce her for April 27th. That's not helpful. <laughs> We're pretty sure that baby's going to be here before then. So I was kind of disappointing. And Jared is scheduled to be on vacation on the 20th. So we're hoping the baby can get here so that he's not on vacation using that vacation up when he, he would rather be spending it at home with her, right? Yeah. Um, on a vacation. <laughs> They're not going anyplace. But anyways, you know what I mean, right? <laughs> Deborah says, let that baby cook till it's done. I know, she's got a big lip hanging out over here. She knows, but you know, you're anxious. You want to meet your little baby, and she would rather be spending a week off with her husband cuddling a baby than waiting to have the baby. We know, yeah. All right, um, we have winners from the last two Facebook Lives, because last time I forgot and I was in a hurry because we had a dinner party, remember? <laughs> so, from, I don't remember which days these are from, but I picked two winners, one from yesterday's and one from the day before. And first we have, remember I got all those paper pumpkin kits in the mail and oh my Lord, did those come from Cindy? I can't remember. I feel terrible, but you know I have a bad memory, but we're all going to love them. So, all these stamp sets from the Paper Pumpkin Kit for March that everybody is so hot to get. If you missed it, everybody wants this. Our winner for this is Rose Marie Basden of Memphis, Tennessee. Congratulations, Rose. I hope you will enjoy this beautiful stamp set. And then, from the next Facebook Live... I am going to give away, whoops, let me, hang on, my little thing is upside down. I'm going to give away this kerchief card kit. Woohoo! This is going out to Marie McMillan of Conroe, Texas. Congratulations, Marie. These are so, so pretty. You're going to love this. And I will get those out in the mail on Monday. 
Yes, congratulations to all the winners. I love that you guys congratulate everybody. That's so sweet, right? I always am a big preacher of that. Like, I'm not like, ugh, I didn't win again. No, I'm happy for others who win. So that's a great attitude. Loved my quarantine coffee recipe. <laughs> what did that say? I have to tell everybody because it was pretty funny. Let me see if I can find it. I'll pull it up here quick. <laughs> oh yeah, it was it was pretty cute. And I can't remember who sent it to me, but I laughed and laughed. So my it's called quarantine coffee. It's just like normal coffee, but it has a margarita in it and also no coffee. <laughs> I want a margarita. I really do. All right, so you guys remember that I pulled these Memories and More card packs out the other day, and you guys have requested that I do something with them. And so I did something with them. And so I've got, I think, four cards here to share with you. And I could have kept going, but I kind of am like, oh, this is, I'm going to run out of time. Because tonight, when we're done, Steve went fishing. Tonight when we're done, I'm going over to Haley and Jared's house because it's the only place I can go and because I love them, not just because it's the only place I can go. And we're going to do movie night. I got, um, I have a whole bunch of sour patches in my drawer and we have popcorn and we're going to go over and do movie night at Jared and Haley's house apartment. So I'm super excited about that. So like I said, I could have kept going and going and going with this. I could keep you here for like at least an hour and a half, I'm pretty sure making cards, but instead I'm going to show you four cards that I did come up with. This will give you some um, creative ideas on how to work with these cardstock packs. Of course, they're made for scrapbooking, but what I did with them is made cards. And I took the, hang on, let me grab it here. Mem the Magnolia Lane Large Specialty Memories and More Cards and Envelopes. So you can get the pack of cards and then you can get the card bases and envelopes. And like I showed you the other night, we have envelope liners. So we'll do that too. I'm going to get out one, two, three. So we'll have those. I already have one in here. So that's four. And the envelopes to go with them. And then we're going to make cards using these card bases. And Haley, are you done with your scrapbook page? I think so. Okay, because I, I didn't show them scrapbook pages last night, so I think we need to do that. Do you guys want to see Haley's latest set of pages? Lynn, I did watch Gone Girl. I watched the whole thing, and it was, um, it was interesting. It's a good movie, but um, it's weird. And so is the book weird. It's just the book I, The book was very much like the movie or vice versa or however you say that. But um, it was weird and I kind of thought it would be. Somebody just asked what kit. This is the Magnolia Lane Memories and More Card Pack. So these are basically created for scrapbooking but um, I made cards with them. So you can scrapbook with them or I'm going to show you how to make some cards with them. Come on over honey. I don't love this one. Haley doesn't love this one, you guys. So we need to do a little bit to boost her. <laughs> okay, so she does love this one. You love this one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. What does it say? He or she. He or she. Oh, this was the gender reveal party, you guys. Oh my gosh, that was so fun, too. Look at all the details on there. Isn't that cool? Yeah, so everybody got their picture taken, whether they thought it was a boy or a girl, and then they revealed the baby's gender as a girl. You know this. Here's the next one. And this is the one she's like, she's not feeling it. But I think it's beautiful. I love it. She used that border punch with the gold foil paper. Isn't that so, so pretty? What is this paper called again that you used? Um, silhouette? See a yeah. silhouette? Mm -hmm. Is that and what it is? I used the gold... Oh, yeah, and the gold B paper. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what the background paper is on this. Come in here. Everybody wants to tell you how pretty it is. Whoa. Did you guys meet my grandbaby? Get out of the picture. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to be dirt once this kid is born. Uh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you did a beautiful job. I Thanks. absolutely love these. I think they're so pretty, and I think that Weedley is a very lucky little girl. Oh, she is. 
guys, thank you so much. She did a good job, right? Not a good job. She did a phenomenal job. Her pages have been so creative and so beautiful. You should see this stack of um, stamp sets she has over there that she's picking through. I'm going to flip the camera around now. And um, we're going to start making our Magnolia Lane Memories and More cards from the card pack. And hang tight. Here we go. Ready? Look at that stack of stamps she's looking at, you guys. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Okay, so there we go. And my other side of my room isn't that messy, so I um, actually did that without feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm such a slob. I'm not really a slob. I just have a lot of stuff in a very small area. And we're all a little bit hordish, right? Not whorish, horde-ish. <laughs> Make that perfectly clear. Okay. This, like I said, this is the Magnolia Lane Large Specialty Memories and More Cards and Envelope. That's a mouthful. And if you ever go online to my online store, there's a little search blank there. You can just type in Magnolia Lane and everything to do with Magnolia Lane will pop up. Or you can type in any of the words and the items should pop up. But you get uh, 20 cards and 20 envelopes in here. All the cards are this neat craft type paper. It looks like a grocery bag. And then they also have this foil lined rectangle on them, as well as the envelopes are also have the foil lined on it. Okay, see how that goes all the way around here? And then there's all of these envelope liners, and I'm not really sure if there's a special way to put these in, but this is how I do it. I just take this, put some glue on the back, kind of holding it so it's not rubbing against my envelope until I get it in here and get it centered. Push it down and now you have lined envelopes. And then you have to kind of push on that so it'll fold. But isn't that just classy? It is classy. And if you want to, I recommend, not if you want to, I recommend that you use your bone folder also. So super cool. All of these are. These cards are really nice. You can see that I've used a lot of them already. And I am just going to get four envelopes done because when this camera goes off, it's rare that I ever finish anything up. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, if I leave something undone, it's rare that it actually ever gets completed. So I'm gonna do it right here in front of you guys. So I will have matching envelopes for all these cards that I made. Oops, I gotta keep that away from there. There we go. And of course you wanna, oops. Gosh, all the rest of them went fine. Center it in here, right? It's starting to stick. Oh my lord. <laughs> okay. Be quick with it, people. There we go. That one's a little crooked. Can you see that? Nobody will know. Cause somebody, they slit the envelope, and then when they slit the envelope, they can see that it's lined, but nobody's gonna see that that's crooked. So I'm feeling pretty confident <laughs> about my little blunder right there. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, and I need one more. Here comes one more. And then I have to get the glue off my fingers. Oh, you guys, I painted my nails today. Can you see that? I have like this opal type um, fingernail polish. I I went through all my fingernail polish. I had this great big bin of fingernail polish, and most of it was all dry and gross. You know what I mean? It's all clumpy and thick. But um, I was looking for some white, or not white, some clear fingernail polish, and, ooh, I put that one away dirty. I couldn't find any clear, but I did find this stuff. I still can't get this off my nails, and I know I could wrap them in cotton and tin foil and soak them in acetone, but I just don't want to do that. That's not good for your nails. It's pretty nasty. Jared, so, Jared's watching you. Oh, Jared's watching me. Hi, Jared. Mm -hmm. Usually Haley and Jared watch together, but Haley's here and Jared's at home. He's playing his PlayStation 4. Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah. yeah, so he wanted to play his PlayStation 4, and so Haley wanted to come over here and scrapbook. So that's what she's doing, because Jared's actually off today. Okay, you guys. Now, another thing that I did is I had 
um, I have already used these card bases for some different projects. So I cut apart some of the card bases so I have some scraps. And I'm going to actually be using those a little bit tonight too. Oh, I need to get away from my quarantine coffee margarita and back to my page where I can see your messages. Okay. Mm. Oh my gosh, as I just grabbed my drink over here, guess what I have right here, people? Uh, yeah, hello, my million dollar chain. And we need to tear off the $930,000. I hit $930,000 last night you guys yay and so we're going to tear this chain off and we are just ten thousand dollars closer to our million dollar total our million dollar total notice how i'm sharing this with you i will not however be sharing the bonus with you <laughs> i just want to be perfectly clear no i'm sure i will because i get a huge product credit so i'm sure i'll have some fabulous prizes to give away but I was pretty excited that I hit another $10,000 in sales. My next goal is $940,000, and this is career to date, and I've been a demonstrator for 16 years. So let me hang this back up on my light. That's where I like to keep it so I don't forget about it. This, $930,000, history in the garbage. All right, cards, here we go. Let me find, here, is this my first one? Nope, that's not my first one. Let me find my first card here. And I think this is my first one. Yep, here we go. Okay, so a couple things I brought in. This is the Magnolia Lane Ribbon Combo Pack. This matches the suite. Are you leaving? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll get popcorn. Okay. And I'll message you when I'm done. Sounds good. Okay, drive safe, honey. Love you. Okay, love you too. Okay, so this is the Magnolia Lane Ribbon Combo Pack. And I did use this on some of my cards. Now, let me grab these cards. And for who, if you may have missed this the other day when I showed these. So when you get a cardstock pack, I don't remember how many cards are in here. Let's see, it says one set. So it doesn't really tell me, but... It'll tell you in the catalog. Let me get it. Because I know people are going to ask and I would want to know. So, in our annual catalog, back here in all the goodies, I always like to call it, here's the Magnolia Lane Memories and More card pack. It includes 50 total double-sided cards. You get two each of 25 designs in 3x4 and 4x6 sizes. Six four by six single printed vellum, vellum specialty cards, four sticker sheets. It's all acid free, lignin free, available in English only. Then it tells the colors that it goes along with, and also that it coordinates with the Magnolia Lane suite on page 36 through 38. And we're getting there really quickly. Here we go 36 through 38. So here's that whole Magnolia Lane suite. You can order with one item code the entire suite of products and I have to say that it is really really nice if you can afford to do that to get the whole suite because we know how much easier it is to create stuff when you have all these matching coordinating products right and that paper is amazing so okay that explains that let me put my catalog away all right so you get these little three by four cards. You get two of each pattern and they're all double sided. And oh my gosh, you guys, I didn't even hardly touch these in the cards that I made tonight, but I have so many ideas with them. Like one of my ideas is to take this four by six card and just bring this right in here. Like maybe put a layer of gold foil paper under it or um, early espresso and put this on one of our card bases and then add some ribbon I mean you it's just so simple and you have this beautiful beautiful card right okay so back to squirrel okay so we have all these four by six cards and I've already pulled some out to use but you get all of these two of each design they're all double-sided absolutely beautiful then you get six sheets of printed vellum 
and I've got some tucked over here because we're going to use, I, I used one and we're going to use another one. So you get these. Then these three by four cards, absolutely gorgeous. And last but not least are these die cut adhesive stickers. And these are really, really good quality. You get two sheets of them. Now, again, these are designed for scrapbookers. So um, you've got some neat titles here like Happy Place and Days Like These, Oh What Fun Celebrate, Hello. You've got some little border stickers. You've got some more border stickers down here with some die cut leaves and flowers. So we're going to be using those. So I'll show you exactly what I did with mine. Um, here comes my card. This is from the card pack. And I'm going to... <laughs> card away I lost it <laughs> let me find the card that I'm using here it was not vellum here it is <laughs> I put it right back in the pack so we're gonna use this one oops I thought that was two these are nice and thick that was so sturdy I thought there were two of them there and now let's get that out of there what I did with this was so super simple and I wanted to start out really easy because you can go crazy with these or if you need quick and easy cards, this is your answer. This fits perfectly on here. I could have also taken this and cut it down to fit on a five and a half by four and a quarter inch regular card front. These are a little bit bigger, right? Because this card, this um, layer is four by six. So these are just a little bit bigger. And then what I decided to do was grab one of these pretty flowers right here. Now these are sticky and it's a die cut adhesive, um, adhesive die cut. And I wanna put dimensionals on it. So I'm gonna take my embossing buddy and I'm going to take all the sticky off the back with the powder in this little bugger. And so, whoa, double, double duty there, right? That's, it's good for that. Then I'm gonna add a couple dimensionals. Ooh, I can smell the chalk in the air. So Stu went fishing today. I'm home alone and I'm pretty excited about it. You guys know I like to be home alone. And I took all of the blankets from the living room and his pillow that he keeps in there and I washed them today. I, um, you know, men smell. And for those men that are watching me right now and your wives are shushing you, <laughs> I'm not being rude, but you guys, you sweat and you stink up things. And <laughs> So I washed all the bedding today. Uh, not the bedding, all the um, blankets in the living room. And we have a lot. We have a blanket on the couch so the cats don't get hair all over it. So if somebody comes over, I can yank the blanket off the couch and there's not cat hair all over it. Because we have two cats. But yeah, so I washed all Steve's blankets and the blanket on the couch today. So when he gets home, it's going to be all smelling good. And um, looking pretty next to his broken iPad. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so I'm taking this beautiful linen ribbon, and this stuff is so, so pretty, you guys, and it's very easy to work with because it's super soft. It's not like a stiff ribbon, and I'm just going to cut this. I just tied a bow, and I cut that and add a mini glue dot. And I'm just gonna put that right up here. And what do we have? If I wouldn't have been chattering so much, we would have been done a lot quicker. But look at this. Hooray for today. Now, of course, you could add a white layer to the inside, or you can write directly on here. It's completely up to you, but super quick and easy. I loved the, the dimension on this die cut adhesive, adhesive die cut. I always say that backwards. I don't know why. But just really pretty, right? And there we go. So now I have two cards done. Yeah. Okay, next card. Let me find the next one that I wanted to show you. I think we're gonna do this one. And whoops, hang on. I gotta get my bits and pieces out here. Is this it? Nope. Hang on. Is that it? Nope. Where did it go? Okay. Here it comes. Whew. Sorry, sorry for the delay. I got a little sidetracked there. I lost some of my pieces. I didn't really lose them. So obviously I found them, right? Okay, here comes another card base. And again, these are all scored. 
perfect. Oh, there's Rosemary. Yay. Thank you, Rosemary. Rosemary says pretty. Thank you very much. Okay, now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this gorgeous layer. Isn't that just so, so pretty? I'm just going to add this to the front of my card. Okay. Then I'm going to bring in some of my Magnolia Ribbon. I'm just going to take this and go right across. Whoops! You want to open your card up. We're not going to close it with the ribbon. Open your card up and put this right through here. And here we go. I'm going to take a little bit of this. I'm going to cut it about right here. And I want to put it in a slant. There we go. Okay. Then what I decided to do is just kind of cross this over just like this. Hang on. I'm just trying to get it centered. I don't know why I care so much right now. And my crown is falling in my eyes. There we go. I'm going to take some of the Mossy Meadow Baker's Twine. I'm going to slide that in there and I'm going to tie this around my two ends that are overlapping here. Now if you need those to be held in place, you could put a mini glue dot in there. I'm just going to use my finger, whoops, my finger to hold them in place. And now I'm going to tie this in a knot like this. Before I do anything else, I'm going to pull on these two ends to make sure they're good and snug on my card base. There we go. Now I'm going to tie it in a knot, leave enough room to make a nice bow. There we go. And keep that nice and snug. Whew, that was tough. And now we're going to tie this in a bow. I just thought this was something a little different to do with the ribbon. Make it look nice, right? Trim this off just a little bit. Boom, isn't that cute? I thought that was pretty cute. Okay, now if you can't get this tight enough, you can pull on these ends again and that'll snug it up. You can also put a mini glue dot under underneath of this to hold it in place. So just know that too. Okay, next, I've got this. I decided to bring in the Magnolia, Good Morning Magnolia stamp set. This is set is so big it needs two cases. It is red rubber. I had somebody ask me that the other day. So this is a red rubber stamp set. And I'm going to also bring in my early espresso ink. And I have an old ink pad here, the old style, because my helper, Brooke, has my new one. And um, she's making cards for me. Okay. This says, the journey of life is best shared with a friend. We'll get through this together. And I thought, you know what? These are the kind of cards that I'm going to need most right now. And if this isn't the kind of card that you need most right now, then you stamp something else on here. But isn't that just so pretty? Yeah. This would be um, for scrapbooking. Together is the best place to be, right? And I'm going to take this and use it on my card. So what I did is I grabbed my snips and I just cut this right off, right on the edge of this print, up to the, don't cut the leaf off, okay, because we're gonna keep that. And now we're gonna just trim around these couple little leaves here. And the petal of the flower. Boom, just like that. Now, I am going to put some dimensionals on the back, and I decided the best dimensionals to use would be my baby ones. So these are actually called mini dimensionals, but I like to call them baby dimensionals because, well, we're, we're in a baby mode here at the Etchison household. <laughs> and I want, I don't want, I hate it when my dimensionals end up on my ribbon. We're going to put this across our card, and I don't want my dimensionals to be on my ribbon because then my layer is going to flop around. So if you spread them out like this, 
they're going to straddle the ribbon and hit the cardstock and not be all sloppy wiggly, right? Okay. Oh, shoot. I screwed this up. Hang on. Let me think about this for a second. Um, I wanted to put, I had a layer to put under this and I don't know. Oh, here it is right here. Okay, so I'm still gonna, I'm, no, I'm not. Oh, Lord. Hang on. I needed to put this on my little layer. I took one of those pieces of card stock from the card bases that I showed you a little while ago. All of these that I've used for a different project where I chopped it all up. So I took a piece and I wanted to add this layer to this piece, just like this. I wanted to give it a little bit of that border and this is really gonna make this layer pop better and I just kind of forgot about it, so sorry about that. Okay, and now, um, I think I'm going to need some more dimensionals. I actually vacuumed today, too. I was quite proud of myself. <laughs> um, there was a bunch of bits of paper sitting on the floor in the living room from Haley in there, figuring out her scrapbook pages. And I saw a dust bunny in the kitchen yesterday when we were getting ready for our dinner party. So I thought, oh. We haven't vacuumed in quite a while. And I got a new vacuum cleaner a week, a, week, a week or so ago. And it's not like my old vacuum cleaner. You know, it's hard to change, right? It's just hard to change. And it's not as powerful. And it makes me mad. And Okay, so now I'm going to bring... I'm going to bring this a little bit over further to the side. So I'm going to fold it up like this so I can move it a little bit. Come on, you bugger. There we go. Okay. And make sure it's even. And now here we come with this layer. What do you guys think of that? Yeah. Isn't that pretty? I love this. I thought this was really cool. So here's card number two. Pretty classy. All right, next card is, I think we'll do this one. So I'm gonna bring in all the bits and pieces for that. Here comes my next one. I'm gonna get rid of all these dimensionals before they're stuck all over my cards. Okay, now I chose this card. This is one of the four by six cards and we're gonna do a little bit of stamping on this first. And I've got the same greeting again. And I'm gonna stamp this right in the middle of this card. Oh, good. I always worry that I'm gonna mess it up. <laughs> and then, again, I'm using Early Espresso ink. And then I've got the stamp out of the Good Morning Magnolia stamp set. And I'm going to stamp that on a scrap of Whisper White. There's a die in the die set that goes with these, which is pretty cool. Remember, we have the coronavirus image in here in small and large, I believe. Yeah, so um, here we go. We're going to die cut this, and once we have that die cut, we're going to grab it because I did die cut it. Oh, here it is, right here. Okay, die cut that. Let me put this away so I don't lose it. And we're gonna do a little bit of coloring. So let me close this up. I've got my stamp and blend markers here. And this is the um, petal pink light. And I'm just gonna take the bigger end here. And I'm just gonna add some of that magnolia color to the edge of the petals. Okay. And then I'm going to bring in the Mossy Meadow and do some little shading deals on the lines on the leaves. Oh, and then I'm gonna do this too. Oops, that's the stem. Okay. And then the lighter Mossy Meadow, let me make sure that's what I have. Yep, lighter Mossy Meadow. 
I'm going to go with a smaller end since we're working with a small leaf here. And you're going to do your blending. Oh, you guys, I forgot to tell you. I went over to Anna's house today. I haven't seen them since this thing started. And um, I pulled in the driveway and I called Anna and told her I was in her driveway and I would like her to come out and talk to me, please. And we did our social distancing. We didn't get close. Molly came running out of the house and she was very close to like running up to me and I went, whoa. <laughs> and she stopped. She's like, oh yeah. But I got to stand and talk with her for quite a while in the driveway and that was really nice. So social distancing still in place. Don't worry. Okay, now I'm going to take this flower, and as I was making these today, I was kind of showing them to Haley and saying, what do you think of this? And she's like, well, it needs a flower or something. So this is what we came up with. We took this little flower, and we're going to put that right over here. And then from the die cut sheets, I'm going to grab the Sending Love right here, and then one of these double leaf dies right here. I'm going to put this on the back of the little sending love. I guess you could call it kind of a banner. We're going to put that right over here at the very edge. Make sure it's straight. Look at that. And then here's our card base. Get that scored good. And <laughs> did you see that? It got stuck. What did I do with that? I know, I just got some glue on my hands. Cindy said she made a sampler with this bundle. It is absolutely beautiful. This entire bundle. And, you know, like I said, it's only like a hundred and, what was it, a hundred and thirty some dollars or something for the entire suite of products. And everything matches. Look at how pretty that is. Okay. And where's one of my... You guys see my envelopes that I, oh, right here. Hello. Here we go. There's another one. Next. Here comes another one. Okay. Here's our card base again. And like I said, I didn't even get to making cards that are standard A2 or A4 size or whatever that's called. But, um, Maybe I'll do that another time. I don't know. I didn't even get to that part. So I've got a piece of the vellum here. And remember, this comes with um, six sheets. They're all different of the vellum. And when you use this, you want to look at which side. This obviously is a lot lighter. This is the right side. So I'm going to put this on the front of my card. And before I do that, actually, I'm going to take... I cut a layer of um, petal pink that is three and an eighth by four and an eighth. And I'm just going to add this to the center of my vellum before I glue it on my card front. I'm kind of holding it on my card front just as a guide for a dry fit. I want this to be centered on here and straight. Okay, so. Oops, that moved a little bit. Okay, that looks good. I just use regular liquid glue, okay? And now I'm going to add the liquid glue only where this cardstock is gonna cover it up, okay? So I only put it where the petal pink is on the vellum. And we're gonna glue this on the front of our card, just like that. And then I took this three by four card and we're gonna use this on the front of our layer here. Are you guys grooving this? Like how super simple this is to make these beautiful cards with the cardstock pack? It's like crazy cool. And next we have the scrap. I grabbed the Enjoy Today from the Good Morning Magnolia set, my early espresso ink. We're going to stamp this right here. And hang on, I smeared that a little bit. Let's stamp this right here. That looks much better. Now hang on, I gotta go get the punch from Haley's side of the table. Haley, you didn't give me the punch back. Okay, it's fine. Here comes our classic label punch. So we're gonna put that in here. We're gonna center it nicely. 
punch that out. And I need to grab some more baby dimensionals. Hang on a second, because I got all kinds of, there we go. All kinds of packs of dimensionals in here. I'm gonna use the mini dimensionals to add to this classic label punch. It's, get, it's really tricky to get used to not having nails, right? <laughs> I know a lot of you are in the same boat that I'm in. Okay, now I'm just going to take this and put it right here. Okay, and then these should be in stock again. I think they're still on back order. These are the Champagne Rhinestone Basic Jewels, and they're petal pink, which makes them match up with all this other stuff really nicely. So I'm just going to add some jewels. You get a, a little bling. Do you guys love that? I love this. Yeah, and then we're going to bring back in the last card, and we put a little petal pink in this flower right here, so let's put a few rhinestones on here, too. Okay, just that little bit of pink, petal pink coming back in there is so pretty. All right, so um, here's our last lined envelope for this card. Let me move this stuff out of the way. And then we've got this one with this card. Hang on a second. Oh my lord. I got quite a mess going on here. <laughs> and then here comes the next one. Oh, oh, I want some I want some rhinestones on here too. This was something I didn't think of when I made this card, but yeah. I think we should have a few rhinestones. Uh, look at how that just dresses that up, right? And then we've got a little bit of peach in here. Oh, I've got both cards here. Because um, I made a set of these, so I wouldn't make a fool out of myself. <laughs> you guys know that when I like make cards on the fly, sometimes it's not that great. <laughs> sometimes I'm not real successful with it. Oh my gosh, I love those. Yeah, so... Here we go. You guys saw it in real life, in real time, how super easy these were to make. Now, if you would like to place an order, I always appreciate your orders. Head over to my blog, www.estampabove.com. In the right-hand column is an online ordering button, and this is my current host code. If your order is under $150, please use that code. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some Stampin' Rewards from Stampin' Up, and I definitely want you to have those. And I am going back to page 36 through 38, so I can give you that information again. This entire suite of products is $134.75. You get the Good Morning Magnolia stamp set, the dies, the embossing folder, that's beautiful. You get a pack of the Designer Series paper, a pack of these envelopes and cards included with that. You get the Memories and More card pack that we use to make all of these cards. You get the ribbon combo pack. You're going to get some of these um, cork embellishments that go along with this suite and also a set of so saffron stampin blends to color with absolutely phenomenal you guys and look at look at the artwork you can make with those dies now you saw the boxes that i made right to fit the three inch candle in that was a gift from one of my friends sarah yeah, these boxes, this is the magnolia paper. These are the dies that are included in here that they made these flowers with. Pretty cool. And then I also had this one, which is white, with a little different designer series paper on it. I would recommend adding. I would recommend, if you're going to order this entire suite, here's the best way to do it. Add a couple items. Add some petal pink cardstock. Add some basic black or early espresso, mossy meadow. And this is our petal pink um, striped ribbon. This also matches the suite beautifully. If you add a few items to your $134.75 and get it to $150,
you're going to get $15 in free money to spend with Stampin' Up! if your order goes over $150. And the other thing that's really cool is once your order hits $150, you qualify to get these exclusive host-only stamp sets with your Stampin' Rewards. You don't have to buy them, but you can if you want, and this is the only time you can get it. The soft spring is when you have the Stampin' Rewards from your order going over $150. We also have this one that matches up with the Timeless Label Punch. This stamp set, which is just stinking adorable, it's like, reminds me so much of fairy tales. This stamp set, this goes along with the nested, the stitch nested label dies. And then, last but not least, oh, where's my catalog? Here it is. This is the only time you can get this cute stamp set make a splash. This is on page 73 in the spring mini catalog and this is a fish bowl with fish and a crab and some seaweed and some really cute little sayings. You have to have Stampin' Rewards to be able to get any of these exclusive stamp sets. So if you're considering ordering the Magnolia Suite for $134.75 and you can afford it, push it up to $150 and then you can get $15 in free product. You don't have to get this. You can get anything you want, but this is the only time that you can do that. And Tanya says, gorgeous, sweet. She loves it so much. Thank you so much, Tanya. I, I do too. It has been just amazing. I also have an online class with this suite of products that is still available in my online classes. So if that's something you guys are interested in, make sure you check that out when you head over to my blog because you'll in the right hand column is online class button and when you push on that it'll take you and show you all of my online classes. I'm gonna flip you guys back around now so hang tight. And I'm back, look at my crown. My crown is like almost falling off. Before it was like this, we've seen this before. <laughs> And then it was, and then it was almost falling off the back of my head because I'm like, Mer. <laughs> all right, okay. So here we have all these beautiful magnolia cards. Like, do you, I love these. So so easy to create with, right? Now, what's in store tomorrow? Well, tomorrow's Saturday, and I have been asked by one of my fellow demonstrators, one of my good friends out of Minnesota, um, she asked me if I would do a, if I would be a guest presenter at an event that she's holding for her team this weekend. So tomorrow I'm going to be doing a Facebook Live for her team, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to share with them um, by the doc. A masculine card she wanted a fun fold and a masculine so I had to combine those two so I'm pretty sure I'm going to be showing doing a Facebook live for those for those folks um, using by the dock and then whatever I come up with with that if I create something new not something I've already shown you then that's what my Facebook live will be for Saturday tomorrow the other thing I want to tell you is Sunday is Easter and I am not going to be Facebook living on Sunday. I'm going to actually take the day off. And I think I'll probably do my Facebook Live early tomorrow. I'm not going to make any promises because I always try to get early, but it never happens like tonight. I'm like, oh my Lord, it's after 6 again. But um, I'm going to try to come in early so then I can just take the rest of the weekend and spend some time with, I don't know what I'll do, Steve? Like, Lord, I've spent enough time with him. <laughs> to last me a good long time, right? <laughs> Maybe I'll go over to Haley and Jared's house. I don't know. Um, I wish somebody had the game Phase 10 because we like to play cards, but I'm terrible at cribbage. Like, I, math is hard and I'm way too pretty for math. <laughs> so, um... Maybe we'll play cards. Maybe rummy. I like to play rummy. But anyways, I think we need to go do something. Like, this is going to be the first time in forever that I'm not going to my mom's house for Easter. We're not going to Steve's parents for Easter. Yeah, I asked Haley tonight, what are you guys doing for Easter? She's like, nothing. Yeah, so since we're the only people they can get together with, I should have thought about that and made an Easter dinner. But you know I don't like to cook. Maybe we'll order in pizza. I haven't had that in a long time. <laughs> but we are going to have a big party when this is over, right, people? 
We're gonna have our nails ready to go. We're gonna have the roots on our hair colored so we can go out in public. And we are gonna head back out into the world like a boss. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing good today. Um, again, I just wanna thank you for coming and watching and supporting me and all your wonderful comments. I don't know why my phone is not scrolling. I, If you guys asked me any questions in just the last couple minutes, I totally didn't see them. I was like, gosh, nobody's saying anything, but my phone wasn't scrolling again, so I'm sorry about that. Denise says, you deserve a day off. Thank you, Denise. I kind of think I do, too. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. Oh, I love all the hearts, you guys. Please don't forget to um, share my video and um, share. You can click on that share button right now. Give me a thumbs up. Like my page. All of those things really help me out. And I always appreciate your orders. Thank you so much. Vicki says, would you show us cards with the tropical oasis memories and more? I love that one. And I'm pretty sure I have it. Hang on. I have a drawer here with some of these things in it. Let me look. I've got another Magnolia Lane. And here's a couple more. Come sail away and come sail away. I've got two of those. Um, I'm pretty sure I have that one. I don't want to make any promises if I don't. One more drawer. Urgh. Oh my lord, really? Well, I think I have it. What is this? Tropical Oasis. Yay, I do. This one didn't come in a box. I don't know why, but oh my gosh, these are so pretty, you guys. This is right up my alley, too, because y'all know that I love tropical. Now, you know that this summer is the incentive trip, the Stampin' Up! incentive trip that we earned a year ago. And we're supposed to be going to Maui in July, and it just so happens that we, I think we get there on my birthday, July 7th. If you guys want to write that on your calendar, my birthday, July 7th. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But um, I can't wait to make cards with this. I am really a tropical person. I love tropical stuff. I love tropical weather. I love the heat and the humidity. Here we go. Ready? Look at how pretty these are. I just saw a fufu drink. I told Steve when this is over, I'm getting on a ship. He said, well, you're going to be going by yourself. I said, that's fine. Okay, ready? That's what I need right now. That is where I need to be. So, Tropical Oasis. Great, great stickers. And I think maybe what I'll do is I'll unleash Haley on one of these kits. Because I told her today, I'm like, oh, I wish you had time to do this. And create these cards for me. Because I know she is really really creative with this kind of stuff and she was she was wishing she did too she's like yeah me too because i think she could have gone crazy but yeah this is going to be really fun you guys okay i'm getting a headache <laughs> i think my crown is maybe getting on my nerves and i'm starting to have a hot flash is that too much information <laughs> i don't know okay so i'm just scrolling back through things see if i missed anything because it's not scrolling again you guys and i'm really sorry i know that's annoying but um, da, 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 da. Linda says her 49th anniversary is July 5th. So here's the deal. We have a lot of July going on in our family. So July 1st is Haley's birthday, and it was also my dad's birthday. He's passed away now, but they always celebrated together July 1st. My birthday is on the 7th. My brother's is on the 11th. Steve's and we got, Steve and I got married on July 4th in Las Vegas. So we have our anniversary. And, um... I think I have an uncle with a July birthday. I think that's it. But it's a lot of stuff going on in July. It's the best month ever, right? <laughs> yeah. So, and I need some quarantine coffee. Just saying. Um, our local Mexican grill, which is just like across, not right across the street, but across the park from here. They open back up for carry out and I'm super happy and I'll bet you they would sell me a bottle of margaritas too because one time when I was going down to my brother's house in Milwaukee, I went over there and I said, I want like a, a booze bottle full of your margaritas to take with me and they sold me one for 20 bucks. That might be illegal so don't tell anybody that. <laughs> but it was really good and then we went bowling and 
Oh my gosh, you guys, that was the night. I had a few margaritas and they're really strong, but they're so good. They have like the, just the most different flavor ever from any place else you get margaritas. That was the night that I drank the margaritas and I we were bowling and I'm a terrible bowler. I'm just horrible. And I went like this and the ball went that way. <laughs> and then when we got home, I got in bed at my brother's house because we it, this is down in Milwaukee. That's like an hour and a half away or so. I went into the bed and I laid in the bed and it was just spinning like crazy. Kelly had way too many margaritas that night. But I was a lot of fun. You can imagine that. <laughs> oh, Connie says she was married on the 7th and her birthday is the 11th. Isn't that crazy, Connie? That's crazy. Yeah, my birthday is the 7th. So um, I've always had a July birthday. Well, I mean, duh, that was stupid. But I've always had great birthday parties in July. And we were just talking about that, Haley and I, that she's a little sad that Weedley won't have a summer birthday because, you know, we always have big pool parties for birthdays. <laughs> and Anne wants a drink now. I know, right? I need a drink too. So it was fun stamping with you guys tonight. Thank you so much for joining me again. And um, Ginny wants to know the iPad story. Is that what you're asking me, Ginny? I missed something. Um, Steve didn't get too upset about the iPad um, because he knows that I will probably have to buy him a new one. And the other thing is, is I don't know how many points I have. I have like 300,000 flex points. You earn points with Stampin' Up! And we can, like one of the things we can buy with those points is Apple gift cards. So, I mean, I can totally get a free iPad from that, but I didn't want to spend it on that since we already had one. But today when I touched the iPad on the broken, hi Peggy Merwin. When I touched it on the broken screen, it's like rough. And so I told Haley today when she was here, I said, hey, you can go grab dad's iPad if you want. It still works. It's in the living room. She goes, what? And use the hazardous material. Yeah. So I think it's going to, it's going to like, it's not going to last. And somebody told me that I could get the screen replaced. The iPad is old enough that I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know how much that would cost, but I got the screen replaced on my cell phone twice. And it cost me like over a hundred dollars each time. It, it was very, I was so disgusted. It was very expensive. So thank you. Debbie says, have fun as a guest presenter tomorrow. I will. I'm really excited about it. Um, I know some of the girls on her team, so it'll be so much fun to catch up with them. And Peggy, uh, if you're just coming in, you're coming in right at the end, but we had a whole bunch of fun and we made cards with the um, Magnolia Lane Memories and More card kit. Super fun. I know you've probably played with it, but um, it was super fun. Okay, you guys, I will be back tomorrow sometime. I hope you have a wonderful Friday, and I will see you on Saturday. Share my video, please. Bye-bye.